No, that's not right. Hi everyone and welcome to the first video for 2021. Unfortunately, once again, we're not having a meeting. Um, and much as we would love to be face to face, it's just not safe right now. So until things improve and we get back to at least a yellow zone, we're not going to be able to see each other. However, our last board meeting was a Zoom meeting and it went pretty well. So we were thinking we would try and do a Zoom meeting for the next guild meeting. We have no idea what we're doing, but we're gonna give it a try. If any of you out there are really good at Zoom meetings or know how to do screenshots or record sections of a Zoom meeting, please let me know because I am not having any luck learning that. But what I wanted to do in this video is keep you up to date with what's going on with the Guild. First of all, much as we, one of my favorite parts of the meeting, and I think that's true for a lot of people, is show and share. And uh, that's one thing that we're missing. So if you would like to send in a picture of what you're working on, either email me a picture, send me a photograph, or you can text a photograph, however you want to do it. If you can get me a photograph, then we can have a little virtual show and share. And I think that would be nice because one of my, the saddest things for me when I finish a project is that after all the work I've done, I sit there with this and say, oh, I'm done. And I have no one to share it with. So let's not cheat ourselves from the, um, the pleasure of sharing. Now, um, I hope everyone has done their renewals. Yes, I know you're there. The cat is here. Um, if you have not yet done your renewal, you can do it through the, the, um, <laughs> you're very distracting, through the um, website of the museum, or you can contact me or Joanne Greco, and we'll see to it that your membership is is um, taken care of. The important thing in these times, I think, is keeping in touch. We want to keep in touch with each other, and there are some ways that we can still do it, even though we can't see each other face to face. First of all, Mary Ellen's blog. If you read that, she does something every almost every week, and it go. You can sign up on the website on the guild website, and um, you can answer her questions or make comments at the end. And just remember, if you make a comment at the end of the video, you will be eligible for a prize, and that's a very good thing. I would like to get prizes. Also, there's the YouTube channel. Uh, try to get something up every month. The um, sometimes we have something to say, sometimes we don't. But you know, it's it's this is the only way I have of keeping in touch with all of you. So, you now at the challenge, I hope you're all working on your challenge. I have been working on mine, and this is it behind me. This is as far as I've gotten. If you remember my picture, this was it. This was my picture. And I had chosen to concentrate on the little group of houses that the cat was seeing out the window. So what I've done is repeat those. I think that camera is a little bit off. Let me just get a better shot of it here. There. The... Um, I used the houses and I repeated them. They're small houses and I just kept repeating them. And if you notice, every house has a window and every window, almost every window has a cat. So while the cat is looking at the houses out the window, 
there's cats looking back. So I'm making progress with mine. I've chosen to do um, borrow stitching throughout, and I'm really enjoying doing it. I love doing that slow stitching with the big stitches. It's very relaxing. It's not, it's not a speed race. It's just very relaxing and pleasant to do while you're binge watching something, which we all are, I'm sure. Also, Facebook. Facebook is there as another means of communicating and getting ideas apart. Sylvia has been posting some really interesting videos and blocks that you can look at. And if you would like, your show and share can go directly to Sylvia and you can put it on Facebook. It's really easy to sign up. It's not risky at all. There's a, a little brief written tutorial in the last newsletter on how to sign up for Facebook and how to control Facebook. You know, you don't have to give them all the information they ask you for. All they need is a name, and you don't even have to use your real name. So it's, it's perfectly safe. So you need to uh, read the little tutorial if you're not a Facebook member and sign up so you can keep up with us on Facebook. This is a good time for working on charity quilts. I've gotten a couple done myself, and amongst other things that I've been working on. And uh, it's just a good time to do a little bit of charity work every day just to make sure that we're staying up with things. Um, Certainly the need is there for quilts for Children's Hospital and the various other things that we've been working on. Now the block of the month, this is, this is the new fun project that we introduced in the newsletter. And this is my, my first block. This is the bird. I haven't done his eye yet, but he'll be cute when I do. And as far as the label goes, this is the design for the fabulous label that you're going to get. And all you have to do is finish the top. It could just be four pieces for a wall hanging or a table runner. Um, or it could be a whole big quilt or a wall hanging or whatever you want to do with it. But once you get your top done, I will give you a label. Um, I'll either mail it to you or hand it to you in person, depending on um, what our situation is at the time. But this is our spectacular label, and the actual one is actually a little bit more spectacular because it's quite a bit bigger. It um, has the, um, the, the uh, Guild logo here and the Tilda logo there. If you've not visited Tilda, they have a very nice website and a lot of free quilt patterns. They're um, a fabric designer from Scandinavia, and so their designs are a little bit different than what we're used with um, a lot of the ones that we normally see. Now, as far as other news, I had an email from somebody the other day who has has. Um, a, a partially completed braided rug, which she would like to have completed and so that she can donate it to the museum. The um, problem is, I guess she can't do it, so she's looking for someone who's willing to complete this braided rug. So if you know of anybody or if it's something that you would like to do, let me know and uh, I'll put you in touch with her. She just wants to donate it to the museum, so that's a good cause. Yeah, that's a good cause, I think. Okay, just to recap, no meeting in January. February will be a Zoom meeting. We can show and share at any time. Just send me pictures, text, whatever. Do your renewals. If you know someone who is not renewed yet, maybe you can encourage them to do so. And read Mary Ellen's blog. Keep in touch with your friends and other members. 
follow YouTube. If you subscribe, you know, they will let you know when there's a, a new video posted. It may not be, um, they won't tell you when every new video is posted, only the ones for the Amherst Quilters Guild. And by the way, if you happen to see a comment that is fairly strange and involves a great, a, quite a few emojis, that's my grandson. He comments on all my videos. He doesn't watch them, but he comments. Um, also, and keep up with the block of the month. This one's cute. And it, by the time we finish, because we have blocks for January, February, March, and April, we should all be vaccinated and life should be back to normal-ish. So, have a good month, and maybe we'll see you on a Zoom meeting in February. Thanks a lot. Stay safe. Bye-bye.